the concept that we had of moving fish over dams but not in water actually seemed quite natural to us when you thought about what a fish actually does when they encounter a barrier like a tree that's fallen in the water every day. So yes, they would jump over the tree if it was blocking their way in the river and they're leaving the water and they seem to not be stressed about that at all. And once we convinced ourselves that logically, from a biological standpoint and a physiological standpoint, that this shouldn't be injuring the fish, it's, well, we gotta try this, it, 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 it should work. We're out here today uh, deploying our system, the fish portal, to see if we can move American shad uh, from down here uh, all the way up there above the dam. We have a bunch of water that we're pumping down and it attracts the fish in. And so as the fish swims in, they will jump over a uh, weir and that's the highest point. And from there, they're sliding down. And this unit is our official uh, recognition system. And what it has is it has a series of cameras that will take photos from different angles. And so. From that information, it has about a half of a second to tell our uh, control unit how to move the fish from them. Whether it's in uh, lane one or any, uh, any of the other lanes or back into the water. So we're looking at our tube system here and we have a uh, really low friction misted tube uh, that allows the fish to go from the bottom of the dam all the way up to the top of the dam, depending on the length of the, the dam or the height of the dam uh, in less than about 15 seconds. Fish, uh, when they're handled uh, by humans, will have higher cortisol levels because that's not what they want. Our completely volitional system, completely automated system, doesn't handle the fish at all. And the, there's no trouble, there's no uh, ailments that happen to the fish that they wouldn't otherwise receive in the wild for the most part. It's better for the fish because it's safer for them, they're less stressed as they're transported up to the lake. It's better for our customers because if we're able to do this successfully, it's a lower cost solution and it's better for the environment. We're getting the fish back to where they were before the dams were created. And if all of those things happen, then this would be a great success. On the grand scale of things, when there's so many issues in the world, you know, where do you focus? This seemed like an awfully good one, good place to do it. Save water save power, save money, and save the fish.